Jay's got them done to a dinner. Triple J much too good. And the star bet for the day walked in. Triple J from Ruler Rocket, third. So they've arrived at the start. There could be a slight delay. Shadow Goddess has to have one of its uh, plates. I think it's the offside plate, uh, hind plate removed. The other one came off cast in the enclosure. So the other plate will be removed behind the barriers. So they're all walking around behind the barriers. The white cap's being used and unhinged. Damien Rideout has two runners in this, and Jelly Shot has the orange cap. So that plate's about to be taken off uh, Shadow Goddess. Next race meeting here, of course, Melbourne Cup Day, Tuesday week. Next Saturday, Yapoon, and the following Saturday, Murumbah. So the plate's been taken off Shadow Goddess. It was a good horse to deal with, no problems there. Some of them get uh, very anxious when the uh, farrier attends them, particularly on an occasion like this on race day. So they're moving in. Jelly Shot's gone in. Unhinged has moved into line. Here's Delius coming up. Shadow Goddess still behind them. Over 15, 17 metres, they really scoot to try and pick up a position before the turn out of the straight. Shadow Goddess comes up, take the lead, will be the next one to come forward. And Whiskey Row. So take the lead's gone in, Whiskey Row's about to come up, the line will be completed. The lucky last at Gladstone. Here's Whiskey Row going forward, so they're locked away, ready for a start. Blue are plenty in this race in colours. The gates fly open and uh, a little bit slow to get going was uh, Shadow Goddess. Taking plenty of speed was Take the Lead, which is up searching for it. But uh, Jelly Shot leads the way at the moment from the stable mate unhinged. Going up three wide on the outside then was Take the Lead, who's trying to continue on with that run, being followed further back in the field then by uh, Delius. Also there, Whiskey Row, and last of all was Shadow Goddess, a little bit wide as they swing out of the straight. It's Jelly Shot taking up the lead. Jelly Shot leads for Oryx Saddley. Going up on the outside into second position. Still was unhinged. Trapped out three wide so far. Take the lead. Having no luck in the run. Being followed then by Whiskey Row. And then came Delius. And tailed off last was Sh Shadow Goddess. Along the back straight they go. They haven't reached the halfway mark, but they're pretty close to it. And along the inside there, still the leader was Jellico, but uh, Jelly Shot but on the outside going pretty fast now. Take the lead, but by G, he's done it tough. Just sitting in behind them there was Whiskey Row. Further back in the field, running last at this stage was Shadow Goddess, about eight lengths between them. So it's Jelly Shot still on the inside, just narrowly in front as they go along the back, but being attacked left, right and centre. Jelly Shot unhinged and on the outside take the lead, followed then by the next horse, Delius. Then came Whiskey Row and last of all and very wide was a, the uh, Shadow Goddess. So they're bunching up considerably now when they come up towards the home turn and they swing into the straight. And they've only got about 250 metres to go up along the inside. Jelly Shot showing plenty of ticker. Take the lead, still coming by. Gee, this has been a game run. Take the lead, he's taken the lead in the closing stages of the race. He was three wide all the way. This is a sand scratcher, this fellow. And it's going to be too good. Take the lead and a very impressive win from Delius. The Jelly Shot was next. They were followed home then by the next horse, Whiskey Row. Further back in the field then tailed right off with Shadow Goddess and Unhinged was just in front of them. Well, that's... Uh, that's a remarkable win because that horse was three wide all the way and covered so much extra ground, probably covered an extra 30 or 40 metres than any of the others. And it's just one convincing. He loves the sand. Obviously, take the lead. Trained by Carl uh, Sinclair at Thangul, ridden by Brodie Moffat, giving Brodie a double. So I'm sure he'll be elated. I imagine that's his first race double. But a very impressive win, that, to uh, take the lead. I'm sure the connections will be just waiting for another Gladstone meeting. A sand scratcher is take the lead. Breach, only a slender lead though from our Magnus. National Choice putting in, 50 to go. Breach in front, 